I'm Tori. And today I will be showing you the additions to Sage CM in the May 2024 release. I have a cheat sheet here of everything that I'll be explaining in this video if reading is more your style. And if you want to read the full release notes, go to Sage Construction Management on the homepage and click this little bubble up here with the question mark in it then what's new and you're able to read all of the release notes. The biggest release so far is the integration with Sage 100 Contractor and Sage 300 CRE. Now SCM can integrate with both of those. If you want more information, go to the release notes and you will see a lot more information about 100 and 300 and how they're able to be integrated with SCM. Next, we have the date improvements. So when copying a purchase order item, delivery date is no longer copied onto the new one. The project analytics transaction detail reports from date to and the to date parameters are going to be set based on the specified analytics form. Then the terms and payment due date are going to be pre-filled when you're adding a prime invoice or when you're selecting import from a work order into the prime invoice list. Also with the error message details, now some error messages are much more detailed and specific on what's going on and what's wrong, especially when you're clicking on attachments and drawings that are too large, you're gonna get a lot more specific details on those. There is also a definition slash name change. So the estimated rates are now gonna be renamed project specific rates. So when you go to the cost database and the equipment items and the details for the equipment items, down here, the project specific rates are now changed to project specific rates from the original estimated rates. So some in-tax accounting link updates consist of the name and ID, the user ID and the company ID in the posting preferences. You're not gonna see it on the first page here, but once you go to posting preferences, you will see your company ID and your user ID. So you're able to see what account is connected to SCM and where you're gonna be sending these. And so here you're able to see the company ID and the user ID. So you're able to see where you are sending these. Now when sending a project, the begin date to Sage Intact, the earliest date available is selected. And Intact expects the project contract date to be after the project begin date, which is considered as the date that the project has been added into Intact. PO conversion type is now posted as price instead of quantity when quantity is equal to one. The project status is now sent into Intact when posting a project. You can now get there by starting at your posting preferences, going to your general preferences, under project preferences, and then here you can select your project status. Then you're gonna wanna click save. Then lastly, you can retrieve cost and payment and deposit information from intact stored in the posting logs. Previously, when importing ERP or payment information from intact, the record wasn't stored in the posting log. So now you are able to get to these from the posting log by going home and then on the accounting link, posting, posting log right here. And that is the end of the May 2024 updates of Sage Construction Management.